All right, friends, going to do a review of radiator guards. Um, Enduro Engineering came out with some new radiator guards a while back and I uh, wanted to give them a try and kind of give you my review on them. Um, everybody uh, knows about the Bulletproof Designs uh, billet radiator guards, kind of an industry standard, real robust, super tough radiator guard, uh, great design, good looking, comes in multiple colors, the aluminum, the black, the blue, the orange, um, really, really awesome radiator guards. Um, have had a few pairs of them and they have just kind of been beefy and tough. Um, machined out of one big piece of billet aluminum. You can tell they're just quality. I mean, they are really built well. Um, one of my favorite parts of them is just the fact on the bottom here, they wrap around the uh, bottom of your radiator. So if you were to have uh, your bike fall and just kind of fall in a weird spot and have a rock just puncture, you'd, uh, you'd, your day would pretty much be over if you punctured your radiator out in the middle of nowhere. And so really these guys are just beefy, robust, stout, one piece. Um, and so uh, really have been happy with those over the years. But I think probably the biggest thing was I wanted to just kind of see what these guys were about, the Enduro Engineering ones, because uh, the price point is quite a bit different. I believe these are in like 150 to 170 range and thought so i thought i'd give these guys a try and then obviously you've got the 220 to 250 range and uh, kind of just go up and down you can see these guys and then you can see the enduro engineering ones as well so we've put these on quite a few of our bikes now and uh, just wanted to kind of give you a review of my experience with them so I had a couple guys drop some bikes here and uh unfortunately these radiator guards, unfortunately, just haven't held up very well. Um, you can see it's like one piece of like aluminum or a uh, sheet metal material. I, I don't know exactly what it is, but it bolts here into this bigger, more stout piece of aluminum. And it kind of is on the outer edge of your radiator. And then you can see here that there's just no... Uh, wrap around like on the bulletproof guy. There's just no wrap around to where your radiator actually a rock could hit there and puncture your radiator And that's kind of where that one excels there, but where this guy really excels big time the, the bulletproof over the enduro engineering is it's just this flimsy metal here. It's not one piece um, And unfortunately they bend and I'm gonna kind of show you I'm gonna take you on to a video um, where this guy came off a bike and unfortunately uh, was bent and I'm going to kind of show you what that looks like for that thing to be bent I'm also going to show you what it looks like um, comparatively what they're like difference uh, in the strength in a vice so anyhow I'm going to kind of show you what that's like and then I'll show you what it looked like when this guy came off uh, of a bike that was crashed uh, and what the uh, radiator guard looked like on the bike and then what it looked like when I took it off the bike and what the radiator looked like so I'm gonna to jump to that video now. All right, so we've got the Enduro Engineering guys. You can see no bends. I just want to show you how easy, how easy it is to bend these guys. I'm gonna put them here in the vise, and then this is really unfortunate because if you have a solid fall on the bike, this is what happens to these guys. So I'm gonna put them in here, and I just want you to see. How easy these are to bend, right? Just gonna put my hands on here. Do you see that? That is pathetic. That is literally hardly any weight on those guys. And look what they look like. Completely mangled, completely ruined, just completely beat up and destroyed. Um, What's that going to do for you when you have a fall on them? I mean, to be honest with you, yeah, that's that's pathetic. I mean, pretty much ruined and destroyed. Look at just how mangled they are, and I could just completely bend them over if I wanted to. It's just that this is so flimsy, just such a flimsy aluminum that they used here. Um, yeah, just unfortunate. So you put the bulletproof designs in here as well. And put them in 
the same exact spot. Those things are so robust and stout that uh, you just can't bend them. I mean, I, I, I could probably force them if I wanted to, maybe bend them a little bit uh, down here, but you can see literally no bends and they're just robust, strong, have better coverage there and just don't have that wimpy aluminum, the soft aluminum. I mean, this thing just bent right over and then bent right back over. So you have a fall, hit your radiator like that and it just bends back. You have a fall and hit your radiator like that, it just bends back. Well, then your radiator has no choice but to taco as well. You can see they're bent there, they're bent there. Um, yeah, unfortunately, this is trash. <clears throat> Meaning it's going in the trash. And this is uh, going on my bike. It's super tough, super robust, and I've never had a problem with anyone of the Bulletproof Design Radiator Guards ever. Anyhow, uh, if you're looking for radiator guards, just my simple opinion, the Bulletproof Designs are well worth the money over the Enduro Engineering's as the Enduro Engineering's bend, and then therefore your $220, $250 radiator is smashed. So buy the slightly more expensive one and have the better protection in my opinion. Anyhow, hope that helps and have a great day. Because of the hard hit that the bike took on this side, the radiator guard is bent. It completely goes in and bends like that. The whole thing is bent. I will take it off so you can see that as well. Hopefully the radiator is not bent. Unfortunately, the radiator guard is super bent out and it's bowed in. Get a good angle of how sadly bent the radiator guard is. And then mostly, and uh, most unfortunate is how bent the radiator is. You can see coming down this line here and then the bottom of it is just super tacoed and bent. You can see how bent it is. See the straightness of the top and then down at the bottom, super bent, unfortunately.